Hello guys, welcome back to Land App. For today's video, we are going to show you or discuss with you Dream Studio AI, what is it and how do you use it. So if you're interested, let's start tutorial. So we all know that we've seen all those AI generated images. You might be wondering, where do people actually create them? Well, through the use of AI here, which is one of the platforms that we could use online here, which is Stream Studio, you could create very fantastic images online. So this is going to be, you could use this for free. So in this case, let's go ahead and start using it. Now you should first access their website here, which is beta.dreamstudio.ai slash generate, or just dot AI here. It's going to add the generate here at the very end when you access their website. Now, in this case, there is going to be a few things that you should remember here. You should fill out all the necessary details that they require here. Like, for example, you need to enter a prompt. Now, the prompt is depending on what you enter here, it's going to create an image based on your prompt. Now, also, you have the negative prompt here. Negative prompts are prompts that would actually uh, be a basis on what to avoid on the images. Like, for example, you don't want to see any dogs or clouds on your prompt or in your uh, generated images. Well, putting it here in your negative prompt is a great way for you to avoid those uh, generations. Now, you also need to choose your style here. So there are going to be different styles here. You have the no style here, have the enhanced, the anime here, digital art. We also have photography here. So maybe for this example, since I already added my prompt here, I want to use the photographic uh, style here. Now we also have the upload image here. So you could go ahead and upload your images to create variations of that image itself. So for example, if you saw an image online that you want to have a copy of or something similar to that, but you want to add details on it, well, you could upload your images here. Now we also have the settings here, which in this case, you could uh, basically change the settings on the generated images. Now here we have the one by one. So depending on how you actually uh, position it, like for example, you want it around the portrait side here. So I'm going to use nine by 16. Now we also have the image count here, which indicates the amount of images that will be uh, generating here. And we also have the advanced here, if you want to know that. So in this case, you have the prompt uh, strength, the width, the height for it, generation steps, and the speed and the model here. But in this case, it doesn't actually necessary for you to change the advanced settings here. You could use the basic setup here. For now, let's just click on the dream here and generate our images. Now it's going to welcome you here, so make sure that you log in. So let's just log in with using our Google account. And once we log in, we should be able to accept the connection here and we should be able to see the generation process here. Now, in this case, we could go ahead and enter our details here. So make sure that you log in first. Usually at the top right, you should be able to see the log in there. So let me just enter my prompts again. So photographic and nine by 16 here. And I wanna see my advance here. And from here, let's just click on dream. Now it's going to start generating our images here. So it might take some time depending on how the server is currently working or how, how fast it is right now. But in this case, let's just wait for it to generate our images. And as you can see, we've successfully generated our images here. So it's just something really cool. Now, if you want to view that image, just click on this one and you should be able to generate variations on it, edit image, or even set an in initial image here, as well as the option to use prompts and even download the image itself. So yeah, so using Dream Studio here, AI is actually pretty easy. We just do make sure that you pr uh, put the correct prompts here and make it as descriptive as you can because the more description they add, the more accurate or the generation is. But yeah, so that's about it. So hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to Yelan app. Thank you for watching.